everyone today i am here with a very important topic of science that is photosynthesis in my last session i have already explained you about two modes of nutrition the autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition now in this session i will be explaining you about the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis yes first i will read the definition for the same and then i will be explaining you the meaning and behind the process photosynthesis photosynthesis comes from the word photo which means light synthesis means to combine you must have understood till now that this will be must be some process where something will be combining with something to form something in the presence of light and yes you all are absolutely correct photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight and this is the light which we have seen in the literal meaning of photo word photo that is light carbon dioxide present in the air water minerals and chlorophyll present in leaves now i will be explaining you this process to you about this process i just want to tell you that all plants prepare their food in leaves so all the raw materials should reach the leaf of the plant right so now how these raw material will reach i am going to explain you water and minerals are present in soil and from the soil it will be absorbed by the root of the plants and then it will be transported to leaves okay now coming to carbon dioxide carbon dioxide which is present in air will come from the air and will enter the plants through the leaf and from where it will enter it will enter through the tiny pores present in the surface of leaf known as stomata okay which is also surrounded by guard cell so carbon dioxide from air will enter the plants through the stomatal pore of the leaves okay now coming to the other point how what will what will be the use of chlorophyll and chlorophyll is actually the green pigment of the leaf which is present on leaf green pigment which is present on the surface of leaf and this chlorophyll the green pigment will trap the energy from sun this is the work of chlorophyll in photosynthesis so photosynthesis we can also explain it in the form of one chemical reaction and what is that carbon dioxide that is co2 from air when combined with water that is h2o it will result it will give the product that is carbohydrate and a carbohydrate known as glucose c6h12o6 along with carbohydrate in the process of photosynthesis oxy oxygen that is o2 is also released in the air okay now few basic points related to few basic points related to photosynthesis i am going to tell you that in photosynthesis light energy light energy is converted to chemical energy which will be stored in food and the ultimate fate of photosynthesis is once the carbohydrate is formed during the process of photosynthesis it will convert to starch which is the actually the complex form of carbohydrate and my dear children you must have seen that apart from red green color leaves there are few plants which has red color yellow color brown color leaves and you must have thought whether these process perform photosynthesis or not as green leaves are not visible and green leaves only contains the pigment known as chlorophyll where photosynthesis takes place then i am going to tell you something related to this is yes in these plants when we talk about these plants who have leaves of uh, like different kinds of color like red brown yellow there the amount of pigments other than chlorophyll is more which mask the effect of chlorophyll but chlorophyll is actually present in those plants also so the process of photosynthesis is also performed in those plants okay now apart from it one more important point is here that 
apart from green leaves generally green leaves contains chlorophyll and it perform the process of photosynthesis but apart from leaves in few plants the green stem the green branches also contains chlorophyll which performs the process of photosynthesis so i will be telling you i will be telling you few examples of that you must have heard about the cactus plant the desert plant right you must have heard about the cactus plant that is the desert plant in that the tiny spines that is the modification of leaves leaves are modified into spines to reduce the loss of water through transpiration in that case the leaf will not able to do the process of photosynthesis so there in play, in uh, case of the desert plant like cactus the green stem and branches does the process of photosynthesis so hope you all have understood the process of photosynthesis okay in my next class i will be explaining you the other mode of nutrition the heterotrophic mode of nutrition in plants so firstly quickly we will recapitulate what we have studied today about the photosynthesis photo that is light synthesis is to combine so raw materials will be combining in the presence of sunlight to form the carbohydrate and oxygen and in the chlorophyll of the leaves this is the process of photosynthesis light energy will be converted to chemical energy which will be stored in the form in food okay now the carbohydrate will get converted into starch which is a complex carbohydrate then apart from green leaves also few of the part of plant like green stem or branches also contains chlorophyll in case if leaves are unable to prepare the food because of uh, few commitment like i told you about the desert plant the leaves are modified into spines to reduce the loss of water in desert area at that time the green stem and the leaf and the branches green stem and branches does the process of photosynthesis right yes and uh, if we are seeing the plants having the color the leaves other than the green color it doesn't mean it doesn't have chlorophyll it must have chlorophyll but the amount of pigments the other color pigments mask the effect of green color that is chlorophyll but there also chlorophyll is present in small amount which allow them to do the process or prepare the food by the food process of photosynthesis this all for today till then bye bye take care stay connected stay blessed and yes do not forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye my dear children